from Hollywood, the heart of the entertainment world, the Hollywood Palace, with your host, Dean Martin, tonight in person, Leonard Carr, Mickey Carr, the Palestinian Nicola Pupa, Cola and Roland, Les Brown and the Hollywood Palace Orchestra, all brought to you by Kim Strand, the division of Monsanto. Kim Strand, makers of fibers for the way we live today. Cumulop nylon and Acrylan fibers. Six reasons why your next carpet should be Acrylan instead of wool. Wool pile is sometimes affected by dampness. Acrylan acrylic pile isn't. It's soft and warm, but won't mildew, rot, or smell musty. Wool pile comes in decorator colors. For more brilliant, clearer decorator colors, see Acrylan. Because Acrylan is whiter to start with, the colors are pure. Wool can be attacked by moths. Acrylan is born moth-proof. Some people are sensitive to wool. Acrylan is non-allergenic. Won't scratch or irritate sensitive skin. Acrylan is easier to keep clean. Stains aren't absorbed into the heart of the fiber. They're easier to wipe up. Acrylan stays luxurious longer. Because it keeps bouncing back year after year, it's chosen for modern schools, busy hotels, theater lobbies. Acrylan looks like wool, but takes more wear and tear. Dollar for dollar, it's a better buy. Look for carpets with the red Acrylan A. They only get it when they meet Chemstrand quality standards. And now, from the Hollywood Palace, here is your host, Dean Martin! <laughs> Your love has given me wings. Penso che un sogno così non ritorna mai più. Mi dipingi con le mani e la faccia di blu. E improvviso tenido dal vento rapito. E cominciavo a volare. Nel cielo infinito Down each avenue will be a Speed of sky that you can see the city On an evening in Roma Do they take him for express? Oh yeah, I guess so All each lovers, I'm a girl I wish I knew I'm an evening in Rome With a grin and a mandolin And in sunny Italy The beginning has just begun When the sun goes down So please meet me in the plaza Near your casa I am only one and one Is much too few On an evening in Rome, don't know what the country's coming to, but in Rome, do as they do with you. On an evening in Rome, on an evening in Rome, dottor Celle de Roma.
good evening to all of you. And I, I want to thank Jerry for building this wonderful theater for me. <laughs> I didn't have to do it. I had it on me. I want to say that uh, we have a lot of fine talent for you tonight. Barry Chase, Jackie Mason, and a lot of other great acts, plus the rerun of the Cassius Clay, Sonny Liston comedy. <laughs> shoulder arms. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a fun evening tonight. And yes, Secretary McNamara will be here to discuss our missile defenses or how we can protect ourselves against another invasion by the Beatles. <laughs> you may not know this, but the Beatle craze goes back a couple thousand years, in fact, to the year 600 B.B., as before booze. <laughs> now, the whole thing really started... Uh, in the jungle. Now, we're going to show you how they looked in those days. And here they are, the original Beatles. Chimps, better known as Darwin's Beetle. <laughs> but now, ladies and gentlemen, we have Rolla and Roland, an outstanding balancing act. I've always admired anyone who can keep his balance at this time of the night. <laughs> Rolla and Roland. <laughs>
good, but what's so tough about that? <laughs> Frank and I do that at my bar every night. <laughs> no. I'd like to present a fellow named Jackie Mason who's doing very well in the comedy field. Now, he used to be my English teacher. <laughs> Just me. He also taught Lawrence Olivier. And here he is to talk to you about current events, Mr. Jackie Mason. Glad to see you. Certainly a thrill to see me again. A very big hit. People can't get over it. <laughs> Looks like you did. <laughs> I'm a sensation all over the world. Although right now, I'll tell you the truth, I didn't come here to tell you jokes. It's not important. This is no time for comedy. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed that. <laughs> you see by the way you're looking at me that you agree with me already. <laughs> see, the truth of the matter is there's more important things to talk about. There's a national campaign going on to choose the, the nominee for the Republican Party for the presidency of the United States. This is no time to tell jokes. <laughs> huh? <laughs> so far you're looking at me like you're waiting for a comedian to show up? <laughs> I'm trying to bring out to you that this is a serious issue. Very serious. It was never more serious than it is now. That's why I brought it up. <laughs> Did you think I know everything? <laughs> I want to tell you what the problem is. You see, like right now, we are told that the poorest man in the country could grow up to become the president of the United States. That's what you hear every day, like Rockefeller. <laughs> Do you think that a poor man could really become president of the United States? So far, you don't know one thing that I asked you. <laughs> Let's assume, let's assume a man like Abraham Lincoln wanted to decide today that he'll be president of the United States. You think he would make it? Let's be honest about it. It's impossible. How could it be possible? Let's assume he wanted to run against Rockefeller. A poverty-stricken man like Lincoln. Why do you think his picture was on a penny? Didn't have a nickel to his name. <laughs> he even lived in a log cabin. That's why he wanted to be president. Couldn't fall in a pot. <laughs> You're not too crazy about that joke? <laughs> you know how poor he was? Did you ever see the outfit? His coat to the floor. He had holes in his pants. That's why he wore such a long coat. Why do you think he had such a high hat? People think he was six foot four. He was four foot nine. The hat was six foot nine. <laughs> he was a man who couldn't make a living. Now, if he wanted to campaign against Rockefeller, he had sixty dollars. Rockefeller has sixty billion dollars. How is he going to campaign against Rockefeller? Rockefeller will take a plane all over the country. What is he going to do? Take a bus? <laughs> By the time he gets to California, the election is over. <laughs> what do you do? Become a president in Chicago? You can't campaign on a bus. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> you have to wait for the bus stops. You know when a bus stops? At a time like this, you're going to make speeches. <laughs> <laughs> and even if you do, who's going to stop the list? <laughs> they can't. If you're running, they're running themselves. <laughs> Money is very important in our society, and you can't deny it. And I intend to become a president of the United States. I don't know if you noticed it from the way I'm talking. <laughs> That's why I'm accumulating money. I'm only in show business two years, or three, tops four. <laughs> I'll settle for five. <laughs> I already know how much money I got. It's unbelievable. How do you think I accumulated all this money? You have no idea how much money I got. You think it's any of your business how much money I got? <laughs> but you're lucky I got time, I'll tell you anyway. I worked out a new system, how to make money, and how to own it, <laughs> and how to keep it. I'm not like other people that save money. The people that save money are getting wiped out every day. They didn't know that. You don't know it either, I can tell about it. <laughs> because the value of the dollar goes down every year. The longer you hold the dollar, the more you lose. Look how I have to tell you everything. <laughs> Don't you know that if you hold a dollar long enough, you're literally wiped out? That's the truth. If I were you, I would give me all your money. <laughs> it's going to be worthless very soon. Did you know that the dollar of 20 years ago, this is an amazing thing, how I know everything. The dollar of 20 years ago was only worth 7 cents today, and the dollar of today will only be worth 7 cents 20 years from now. If you put away $20,000 now, you know what you'll get back 20 years from now? Tops, a dollar and a quarter. <laughs> well, does it pay to save money? People don't realize that there's other things that go up every year, like bread. A loaf of bread 20 years ago was seven cents. Today, the same loaf of bread is maybe 28. Now, if you save bread instead of money... <laughs> I'll tell you the truth. 
the truth I never knew this. For years I was eaten up by profits. <laughs> now when I go into a restaurant and I see bread, I don't eat it. I put it in my pocket. <laughs> I didn't even cash a check. I bread it. <laughs> Why do you think in a depression there's a lot of bread lines? You notice it? <laughs> you ever see a money line? <laughs> They know, they know that it's worthless. You know what I'm trying to bring out? And things are getting better all the time. Not with bread. The next biggest thing, toast. <laughs> if I were you, I would save toast. It's going to be the biggest thing in the world. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, before I go, it's an unfortunate thing that I'm already finished. I can tell by the way that he's looking at me. It hurts them whenever I become a hit. <laughs> he mocked They let him talk a whole night with all my talent. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll let you stay in the business. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, before I go, I just want to suggest that if I made you happy at all tonight, then I'm happy. If, however, I did not make you happy, don't think that I'm going to worry about it. <laughs> because I got my own troubles, I'll be honest. I'm not so happy either, but I don't see you worrying about my problems, so don't come to me with your troubles. <laughs> I want to wish myself the best of everything. <laughs> Thank you very much. Some nylon pile carpets are like this, skinny. Some nylon carpets are thin and flat. Some nylon carpets look hard, glossy. And some are skimpy, tough, unyielding. Well, that's nylon. Strong, but no beauty, right? Uh-uh, wrong. This, too, is nylon, plump nylon. Cumuloft. No nylon is more practical or so luxurious. It goes into the plumpest nylon carpets ever made, the warmest and richest in color. Now nylon can be elegant as well as carefree and long wearing. You won't find skinny, skimpy carpets made with Cumuloft nylon. Plump nylon is soft. Plump nylon is rich. Plump nylon is not ordinary nylon. Ask for carpets of plump nylon labeled with the big blue Cumuloft C, and you'll never get a skinny one. Carpets carry the blue C only when they meet Chemstrand quality standards. Oh, put on a... You know, in the world of entertainment, there's nothing as exciting as a chase. But the most exciting chase of all is a girl named Barry. Here's that lovely, graceful, young dancing gal now, Miss Barry Chase.
to get out to the show and get this kid a new shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful, Barry. And now a word from Chemstrand. I love every fiber in their factory. <laughs> get the blanket with the egg. You can trust the big red egg. Get the blanket made with Aqualine today. It's the mark that makes you sure. It's the mark that means it's pure. Get the blanket made with Aqualine today. You'll sleep better. You know, I've had a very special request, but I'm going to sing anyhow. <laughs> you made me love you. I didn't want to do it. Did not want to do it. You made me love you all the time you knew it. I'm sure you really knew it. You made me happy with some time. You made me glad. But there were times. You made me feel so bad. No, nah, you made me cry for. Oh, I don't want to tell you. I did not want to tell you. I was in love. That's true. Yes, I do. Did I do? You know that I do. I don't care, let a whole world stop, long as I have you, I'll be the top, you know you made me love. I wandered around and I finally found somebody who could make me be blue, make me be true, I'll even be glad just to be sad thinking about you. <laughs> Never be me. Jump through that. <laughs> Try to be born, they would not do. <laughs> Nobody else gave me a thrill. Mm, with all your thrills, it had to be you. Wonderful you. <laughs> it had to be. I'm in 
of Monsanto. Chemstrand, makers of fibers for the way we live today. Cumuloft nylon and Acrolan fiber. Well, this is a great network of over 150 stations arranged from coast to coast in one long belt. So that's my suggestion for this station break. Let's go out and have one long belt. Uh, you know, this is uh, the hectic time of year in Hollywood when everyone in the motion picture industry is voting for the Academy Awards. I want you to meet the man I voted for as the best actor of the year. Yes, sir, the little old winemaker, Ludwig Stossel. <laughs> Ludwig? Thank you to Dean Martin for voting for me. <laughs> I thank you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> and you know, I enjoyed your last picture, The Grapes of Wrath. Yeah. <laughs> you can pick up your Oscar next week, and yeah. I think it's Oscar Levant. You can... <laughs> what? How can you do this? Oh, oh. <laughs> I think he's drinking what he sells. I keep... Uh, <laughs> I keep telling him, but he's still trying to dress like Crosby. Yeah. Oh, Laura. Up at the top of uh, the show, you saw the Berlusconi chimps as the Beatles. Well, now they're coming back as themselves, which isn't too human either. <laughs> but they're, they're just great. And here they are, ladies and gentlemen, the Berlusconi chimps.
At good homecoming times like these, when a cigarette means a lot, you get lots more from L&M. It's the rich flavor leaf that does it. L&M has actually more of this longer-aged and extra-cured tobacco leaf than even some unfiltered cigarettes. You get more body. More body in the blend. More flavor. More flavor in the smoke. More taste. More taste through the filter. Get lots more from L&M. And L&M's filter is the modern filter. All white inside and outside. So only pure white touches your lips. L&M's a filter cigarette for people who really like to smoke. So get more body, more flavor, more taste. Get lots more from L&M. Lots more. Oh, yeah. Uh, now, a few weeks ago, at the, I got that from the monkeys. A few, uh, a few weeks ago, uh, the Hollywood Palace and uh, had a girl named uh, Vicky Carr was the talk of the town. Now, you'll thrill when you hear this exciting personality, this voice with a heart, this unusual talent. You know, I think I just lost up my own introduction. <laughs> but here she is, and really deserving of such praise, Miss Vicky Carr. Better scurry when I take you out in the Surrey. When I take you out in the Surrey with a friend on top. Watch that French and see how it flutters when I drive them high step and strutter. Nosy pokes so peek through their shutters and their eyes will pop. Long wheels are yellow, your upholstery's brown, the dashboard's genuine leather. With iron glass curtains, you can roll right down in case there's a change in the world. Bright side lights, winking and blinking, ain't no finer rig I'm a thinking. You can keep your rig if you're thinking that I care to swap for that shiny little scurry with the brim on the top. And just keep a clip and at a slow clip flop. Don't you hurry with a surrey. I won't swap my shiny surrey. When I take you out in the surrey with the friend on the top. Aficionados of terpsichore, ha, ah, which means you can't too dig hoofen. Here's something a little different in eccentric dancing. Ladies and gentlemen, the best in the business, Mr. Leonard Barr. All right, boys, give him a dancing in the back.
could be a problem for us denture wearers without polygrip, the cream adhesive that grips where powders fail. Say this pencil's a denture. A powder adhesive is hit or miss, can leave gaps, weak spots. The denture can let go. But polygrip is a full-bodied cream. No gaps, no letting go. So get polygrip, then go have yourself an ear of corn. Well, now I'd like you to meet a little 12-year-old girl from Italy. And they grow up early over there loaded with talent. Her name is Piccola Puffa. Danny Thomas discovered her when uh, he was over there last year. And let's welcome her to the American live television, Piccola Puffa.
girl, Pupa. Do you have a boyfriend? Well, in Italy, I met someone I like very much. What's his name? Eddie Fisher. <laughs> what I said. Oh, I know. I'm just trying to have a little fun. But I love your name, Piccola Pupa. That's, a, that's very musical. You don't happen to know a xylophone Schwartz or anybody like that. Everybody thinks my name is funny. Well, it's not funny at all. It's very appropriate. I know Piccola Pupa is Italian for small doll. Are you Italian? Are you kidding? <laughs> my whole family comes from Italy. South Sinatra. <laughs> you know, my kids would like to meet you. After the show, I'll take you home, we'll raid the icebox, have a glass of milk. <laughs> well, so what do you like now? When did you start drinking milk? Yeah. <laughs> when did you start being funny. Come here. Well, I think it's time we sang a song together. Mi piacerebbe moltissimo, signor Martin. What's that for? That's Amore. And that's the name of the song, too. <laughs> well. Seems to shine like you've had too much wine. Mr. Amore. Quando poi suona il mandolin, di 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 di, canterai vita bella. E bella. Danzerai ti peti peti, ti peti peta, una gran tarantella. When the stars make you drool, just like a bus, the bus. Questo è amore. When you dance down the street with a cloud at your feet, you're in love. When you walk in a dream, but you know you're not dreaming, signore. Excuse me, but you see that in a Napoli, what's a more? When the stars make you do just like Pasta Vazu. That's a more. When you dance down the street with a cloud at your feet, you're in love. When well, you walk in a dream, but you know you're not dreaming, Signore. <laughs> life can depend on balance. The life in a man's hair depends on balance, too. Nature's perfect balance of oil and moisture. Greasy hair dressings upset it, slick hair down. Alcohol tonics tip it, dry hair out. But Brill Cream is perfectly balanced to give your hair the natural look. Brill Cream, Brill Cream, Brill Cream, a little dab will do ya. She's got it. He sees it. McLean's did it. She's got it. He sees it. McLean's did it. New McLean's toothpaste gets teeth irresistibly white. There's a zing in McLean's. A lively, dazzly taste that tells you McLean's whitens your teeth. Whitens your teeth. She's got it. He sees it. McLean's did it. New McLean's toothpaste gets teeth irresistibly white. McLean's. Somebody around here must have said the secret word because the next host of next week's show has just dropped by to say hello, Mr. Groucho Mock. <laughs> For my show, they gave you a babysitter and everything. Else. <laughs> Dean, uh, what time do you get your bottle? <laughs> You know, Raquel here is our billboard girl. Now, isn't she gorgeous?
Who cares if she's gorgeous? At my age, I'm more interested in whether she can cook a nice bowl of cream of wheat. Groucho, you're not that old. Oh, no. Come on over to my house, and I'll show you 5,000 boxes of cream of wheat. Like, well, you go to my dressing room. I'll stay here. I need the rest. You hear I what she called you? Huh? She called you a boy. I know. In the words of Bob Hope, thanks for the memory. <laughs> Are you going to tell the folks what's going to happen here next week? Well, if I have to, I don't know. <laughs> Who do you think I am? Criswell? <laughs> oh, you mean next week? Yes, yeah, shoe. The shoe. Next week, shoe. <laughs> Who you don't have We on? only had Ed here. Oh, Ed? Yeah. Well, next week at the Hollywood Palace, we're going to have Lee Allen. Now, would you say that's a man or a woman? <laughs> well, we got to wait till we see uh, him. Uh, yeah. It's hard to tell. <laughs> New Amsterdam and Rosemary. I don't know. Who was that? Oh, Maury. <laughs> oh. I thought I was back in the Bronx. Uh, Gilbert Because... No, that's Gilbert Bicot. Oh, Bicot what? Bicot, I don't know how to pronounce it either, oh, that's why. Bertha, the elephant, in a triumphant retain engagement. <laughs> is, that a, is that a male or a female? We've got to wait till we see. <laughs> You're going to wait for everything, aren't you? <laughs> Jose Greco. No, that's <laughs> Greco. I, got, I haven't got my, the right glasses on here. I've got my Zuma lens on here. Jose Greco. That's a German dancer, isn't he? Yeah. Jenny Smith, that's probably... I must be a woman. And Andre Tejon and company. You know anything about that? No, not at all. Well, uh... <laughs> let's cut this short, Harry. I don't get paid until next week. <laughs> Even that's doubtful. So, uh, <laughs> see you next week, Dean. Okay. You did a wonderful job. <laughs> Well, now, don't forget another great show at the Hollywood Palace next week with Groucho Marx. Meanwhile, you drink, uh, drive carefully. <laughs> and, uh, well, like. Don't forget, send in them cards and letters. We like to see them coming in. And just send in for those rose bushes every week, you know. And uh, we got to say, oh, yes, maybe like myself, you're not quite in shape to win a 100-yard dash or top 15 feet in a pole vault, but you can not participate in the Summer Olympic Games just the same by sending in a little needed loot. Mail it to the Olympic Fund, 320 Park Avenue, New York City, today. Let's see to it that... Our boy and girl athletes are nothing less than first against the world. So good night and God bless you all. This portion of the Hollywood Palace is brought to you by McLean. The new toothpaste with a tingling taste that gets your teeth irresistibly white, but clean. And by L and M, the rich flavor cigarette with a modern all-white filter. Get lots more pleasure from L and M. Congratulations and a special welcome to our new ABC affiliate in Portland, Oregon, KATU on Channel 2. Pico Pupa appears with the courtesy of Danny Thomas, Nick Tufel speaking.